Just a drop in to bring you some flowers. Oh, Enzo. They're plastic. Uh, you don't have to put them in water. You just wash them once a month. Eh? <laughs> it's a thought that counts. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Maria, when I knock off tonight, how about we just spend tonight at home? Just the two of us. Like when we was engaged. What about the children? They weren't there when we were engaged. <laughs> They're here now. Hey, don't worry. Roberto, he'll throw himself around some Sheila. Anna, she'll throw herself around a little disco. And I'll give Antonio a couple of dollars. What do they do? Well, for a couple of dollars, he even throw himself off a cliff. <laughs> okay, so you're so romantic. Sure, I'm romantic. Say it with the flowers. But you shouldn't have spent so much money. Maria, I never spent one cent. Then how did you get them? I found them in the back of the taxi. You know? <laughs> Antonio, filio mio, how did you get on at school today, huh? Eh? You get some good marks? Yes, but not where I could show them to you. <laughs> what? You've been in trouble again. Well, it wasn't my fault. Hey, it's never your fault. So what didn't you do today, eh? Well, it was Kevin O'Flaherty's idea. He dared me to do it. Do what? Go into the girl's toot. <laughs> toot? Hey, what's this uh, tootie? The loo. The loo. Don't you understand English? Yeah, I speak English. Very good. So what happened to this girl's tootie? <laughs> well, we went in and Kevin wrote on the wall the Incredible Hulk was here. So I come to teach you think it was you? Well, I wrote, so was Tony Pacelli, and I got six <laughs> words. Serves you right. Go and do your homework. Yes, and a pronto, huh? Okay. Hey, Roberto. Hey, Dad. Mum, we got any clean towels? Sure, in the cupboard. Are you going to bath again? No, we're going down to the beach for a skinny dip. Skinny dip? What's this, uh, some kind of ice cream? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you under understand English? We're going swimming, in the raw. What, you mean you're going in and you got no and but not... And... That's right, dear me. I don't like this. I think maybe some girls might see you. Well, I'd have a job not to. They're coming with us. Hey, you mean you all are going to dip your swimming? Sure. Hey, yeah, that's bad. I mean, the boys and the girls are from the different sexes. No clothes on the beach. I mean, uh, anything could have happened. Usually does. <laughs> I mean, uh, Roberto, he's a sex -a crazy. Like father, like son. <laughs> All right, Maria. I go. I'm going to work, eh? I hope you do. Oh. Hey, what's the matter? I've had a lousy day. Hey, what's wrong? Mr. Groper at the office. Hey, Groper, it's a funny name. That's not his name. He's Mr. Fletcher. The girls call him Mr. Groper. If he's a Fletcher, why do you call him Groper? Because, Dad, Groper means... Ah, don't you understand English? <laughs> Groper, so fishy to me. <laughs> An emergency stolen car. Yeah, right under my nose or behind my back. <laughs> you call the police. It's a red car. KHB 793. <laughs> it's a victim Hey! Hey! I just seen who took your car. Hop into the cab, we'll catch up there. <laughs> I call it the police. Pretty soon you're having your car back. That's what I call a service. Hey, what's going on? Car 92, car 92. 
Nice work, Enzo. Seems like you didn't just get onto a couple of car thieves. Apparently, they just robbed a bank. Yeah, but they didn't go into the bank. <laughs> you went into the bank. <laughs> I'm trying anything smart, pal. Virgin Maria, you to me too. I don't try anything, but that don't stop you from having a go. <laughs> All right, where to? Cool it. I don't know the place. You have to show me the way. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Pipe it down. Eh, new suburbs coming up every day. Well, you shut up. We're trying to think. Where are we going? Look, we need somewhere to lay low for a while. Uh, somewhere safe, out of the way, where no one will look for us. His place. My place? <laughs> How are you going to find my place? You don't even know where I live. No, we don't know where you live, but you know where you live, don't you? Sure I know where I live. What do you think, I'm a stoop? Then that's where you're going to go. You can't go to my place. Hey, I got a wife and a kid, so you're going to frighten them to death. No need for that, pal. You can uh, say, uh, we're friends of yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Old pals that got into your cab. I won't do it. I will not do it. We'll be there in ten minutes. <laughs> A model of the Concorde. Drop dead. I named this ship the Burp. The Burp? That's a funny name for a ship. Not really. It's a wind jam. <laughs> How do you spell repulsive, obnoxious and ugly? Why? I'm writing to my boyfriend. That's a funny thing to write to your boyfriend. Not really. I'm telling him about you. Oh, a funny smell just walked in. Get lost. Oh, I think you've overdone the aftershave. You smell like an explosion in a perfume factory. I've got a special date on the beach tonight. With a bit of luck, I might score. You're going to play football? <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't exactly the game I had in mind. Mum, might be home very late tonight. Don't worry, if you get lost, the bloodhounds won't have any trouble sniffing you out. <laughs> hey, what's that funny smell? It's the Roberto Valentino. It smells like an explosion in a perfume factory. <laughs> Where's your papa? Mm, maybe he's caught up in traffic. Oh, may maybe he's caught up at the pub drinking. <laughs> that was my next suggestion. <laughs> that was my first suggestion. Now, don't forget. Just act natural. Don't try anything smart. All right, all right. Act natural, all right. Hello, family. I'm home. <laughs> hey, Maria, my lovely wife. My beautiful wife. I love you so much. Mm. I told you he's been drinking. Uh, 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 I want you to meet two old friends of mine. Uh, uh, this is uh, Turner. The name Turner, and this is uh, Jonesy. You see the new all the time. <laughs> never told me before about these old friends. We just met. <laughs> but I thought you said they were old friends. Oh, well, they don't exactly look like a kid, do they? <laughs> where did you meet these friends? Uh, where did we meet? Uh, in, in his taxi. And in my taxi. We're on our way to the airport. They're on our way to the airport. But, but we missed the plane. But I missed the plane. A put it just like that. I see. And where were they going to in the plane? Malay. <laughs> where? Nice Seems like you all mixed up. Yeah, that's how come they got mixed up and missing the plane. Why don't we sit down? <laughs> well, Mr. Turner, uh, what line of business are you in? Oh, uh, the... It's uh, in the banking business. <laughs> there was a bank robbery today. I heard it on the radio. Hey, uh, you don't believe everything you hear on the radio. You've got a very nice family, Mr. Pacelli. Sometimes. I'm always nice. <laughs> you don't want to believe him, Mr. Turner. He's a juvenile delinquent. Oh, that's good. I like a kid with ambition. <laughs> I could give you a few tips. Enzo, I want to speak with you for a minute. Yeah, sure, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> I want to speak to my husband alone. Well, you see, there are a couple of close friends. How long are these close friends going to stay? How long are you going to stay? Maybe just for the night. Maybe just for tonight. On the other hand, it could be for a couple of days. On the other hand, it could have been for a couple of days. A couple of days? A couple of days? Uh, only till the heat's off. What heat? Uh, they've got a temperature. They've been the sick. <laughs> but where are they going to sleep? Well, don't worry about us, lady. We'll dot down on the couch. But you can't both sit on the couch. Yeah, we'll take it in turns. Oh, there's something funny going on. Funny? 
I'm not laughing, Maria. <laughs> okay, you two, freeze. This is the police. Put your hands up. Turn round, slowly. Now, come down off that ladder. <laughs> Is that TV, stupid buckshot? Oh, I hate that program. It's not fair. The cops always win. Yeah, well, let's see what's on the other channel, eh? In response to persistent questioning, the new secretary stated that he stood neither to the right nor to the left, but was a man of the extreme center. <laughs> Earlier today, thieves escaped with $30,000 from the United Bank of Australasia. It's believed they are the same men who robbed hey, the look, we're on TV. last week. <laughs> the police have identified thieves from eyewitness reports as Stanley Arthur Turner of No Fixed Abode and Paul Anthony Jones of the same address. If anyone sees these men, they should phone the police. Do not approach them as they are believed to be armed and considered dangerous. A Cronulla housewife was surprised to find curled up in her bed. Okay. okay, so now you know. Just behave yourselves and no one will get hurt. Right. Well, I'm off. Sit down. Oh, come on, you guys. I've got a date. We don't care if you've got a bunch of bananas, pally. You're not going nowhere. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, Brian. Uh, sorry, Anna can't come out with you tonight. Now, there's two bank robbers here with a gun and they won't let him... <laughs> leave the house. What did he say? He said bulldust and hung up. <laughs> Any more tricks like that, kid, and someone's gonna get hurt. Where do you think you're going? Well, it's my house. I go where I want. Yeah, and I'm gonna go with her. Huh? Now, leave them, Jonesy. They won't try anything stupid while we're here with the kids. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we got to get out of the house, quick. Shh, okay, we gotta get out. Hey, just had an idea. Where's that bottle of grub? You're going to get drunk? Shh, 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 shh. No, no. I'm not going to get drunk. I'm going to get them drunk. I give them two glasses of this a strong wrapper. They go out the like a light, huh? Then we call the cops. Oh, you clever man. It's okay. <clears throat> hey! Turner! Jonesy! <laughs> How's about a drink, huh? Great. Tea for me. I'll have a coffee, thanks. My nudge la miseria. I'll tell you what, though, we could do with a bite to eat. Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, all right, you sit in the dining room. Hey, Roberto, Anna, you get Come a on, let's go. Right, just on. to get some knives and fork. Right, just to sit down and we'll get something to eat. What are you going shh, to do? Shh, shh, shh. I just think of an idea. You get some spaghetti, quick. And so please don't do nothing to cause no trouble. No, I no cause any trouble for one simple reason. I don't want no harm to come to somebody I love very much. Grazie, Enzo. Not you, me. <laughs> I was just having a little joke, just to cheer you up. Eh? It's not time for jokes. Hey, look, this is for the milkman. He'll be here any minute. Robbers holding hostages, call it the cops. Oh, clever, Enzo. Shh, 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 shh. Where do you think you're going? I'm um, just going to put out a note for the milkman. Well, I don't know about that. Well, let. Uh, if I don't live another day, you're going to be knocking on the door, huh? OK. But don't forget, we got your wife and kids. All right, what do you think? I'm a stupid man. <laughs> Hello? 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 What's the matter with you, Enzo? Are you drunk or something? There's no law against doing what I'm doing. Look! Liquid laxative? <laughs> Very soon, this crook's going to be really on the run. <laughs> there you are, Papa. Hey, what's this? The slimy sandwiches. What's the matter? Don't I get a spaghetti? Uh, th there is only enough for out of visitors. 
Bon appetito. Spaghetti? I hate spaghetti. I can't stand it. Hey, don't worry, I have your spaghetti. <laughs> So it's all right. You can have it the salami sandwiches, eh? And it smells so good, eh? In nome del Padre, del Figlio, dello Spirito Santo, per quello che siamo ricevere, diamo grazie a Dio. Eh? Mmm. Eh? Hey, you put something different in it tonight, eh? It's delicioso. Mmm. What's the matter? You don't like a spaghetti? Uh, tell you the truth, I'm not very hungry, actually. Oh, no, that's it. Don't worry, I'll have some more, eh? Are you sure you're going to eat all that, Enzo? Ah, sure, I'm sure. I'll tell you something. One plate of my Maria spaghetti can keep me going all day. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> Maria, it's extra good. i tell you something. I'm so full, I might get an indigestion, huh? I hope that's all you get. Enzo, I want to speak with you a minute. Sure. All right, all right, I know. You got the kids, huh? Porca miseria. And so I got to tell you something. What's the matter? What's the matter? The spaghetti. The spaghetti. Mmm. Delicioso. It's sure going to be delicioso. What do you mean? I made it especially for those two crooks. I put something in it. So what do you put in it? <sighs> Liquid laxative. <laughs> Maria, you put one whole bottle of this in my spaghetti? No. Two. <laughs> Santa Barbara. <laughs> Where's your papa? Same place. Again? <laughs> Come and sit down. Just for a change, I think I stand. Here, I go. I Whoever it is, get rid of them. No tricks, uh -huh. all right? Yeah, all right, all right. Do as he says, Dad. Be careful, Papa. Please don't try to be a hero, Dad. Uh, don't worry. In my condition, I'll be lucky if I make it the front door. <laughs> G'day, Mr. Bocelli. Hey, you got my note? Yeah, but I can't understand the writing. Something about rubber holding sausages, boil the tots. No, <laughs> oh, look, it's uh, rubber, all the hostages, uh, call of the cops. Mm. <laughs> no, it's good, but it's good, but it's good. I reckon you've been giving that Vuna a bit of a bash, Mr. Pacelli. Here, yeah, keep the milk. Hey, what's the matter? I thought I told you not to try anything. Good thing for you, you're such a lousy writer. Now get in there. I think we change our milkman, my dear. Did he? No, I just stop. I want to have a drink. Yeah, Dad, we got an idea. Hey, it's no good. They're too smart for us, huh? This will work. It was in a film we saw. Yeah. Anna and me will distract their attention. You stand with your back to the phone, take the receiver off the hook, and dial emergency. How am I going to speak when I got my back to the telephone, huh? Keep the phone off the hook. They'll hear everything it said. Hey, it's a good idea. Mm. OK, we try. <clears throat> How much did you say you got away with? Uh, $30,000, wasn't it? Yeah. What are you going to do with the money? Yeah. Well, we're not going to put it in the bank, are we? <laughs> I suppose when you spend it all, you'll just rob another bank. That's right, kid. So, you're the two bank robbers the police are. <laughs> you know we are. How much money you get away with? $30,000. Speak up, because I can't hear you. <laughs> Who can't? I can't. What, are you deaf or something? So, you got away with $30,000, huh? <laughs> and now, you keeping us hostages here at number 29 Walton's Avenue? <laughs> That's a 29 Walton's Avenue, which is just off of the expressway. Now, there's something funny going on here. What this? <laughs> Nah, you're in trouble, huh? You see, I dial the police, and they hear every word that we say. Oh, yeah? At the third strip, <laughs> it will be 7, 21, and 40 seconds. Okay. <laughs> now, who 
rid of it this time. Uh, so do I know. What do you mean? I've got X-ray eyes or something? All right. Well, this time, just get rid of them. No notes, no tricks. Just get rid of them, OK? Well, see if I'm calling. Let go. Get in here, get in here. Come on, move. Hey, Father, move me. Hey, come in, Father, come in. Thank you, thanks. Hey. Uh, good evening, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had guests. Oh, no, these are fellas. Uh, these are two I was on the TV. Oh, really? Yeah, they was there earlier this evening. Hey, you're not the... No, you couldn't be the two Ronnies. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me, gentlemen. I don't get much time to watch television. Pleased to meet you, anyway. <laughs> uh, I won't take up much of your time. <laughs> I've actually called round to ask... Oh, for a small donation. Uh, if you happen to have any spare money lying around. we got a plenty of money lying around. <laughs> oh, good. It's for a very worthwhile cause. It's the Prisoner's Aid Society. <laughs> Santa Madonna. You see, it's a known fact that criminals are more often than not poor, helpless creatures adrift on the sea of life, crying out for help. They're crying out for help. <laughs> oh, they're victims, you see, of unhappy or broken homes. They've had miserable childhood. It's true, yeah, it's true. It's miserable. Yes, and we, we haven't prepared them for anything other than a life of crime. And you see, Mr. Patelli, after all, criminals are no more than ordinary human beings, just like you and me, or even these two gentlemen. That's right, that's right. So I want you to dig deep, Mr. Pacelli. Give till it hurts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give till it hurts. Believe me, Father, this is gonna hurt you like a crazy, huh? <laughs> a dollar? <clears throat> a dollar twenty. <laughs> uh, you're a good man, Enzo. You see, somewhere in the community, there are criminals who are going to say, thank you, Mr. Pacelli. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. Pacelli. <laughs> for giving this money. And now, you two gentlemen, I'm sure you must understand the needs of prisoners who have just got out of jail. Yeah, their main aid is to stay out. <laughs> <laughs> Most amusing, yes. So how much are you prepared to give? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, we're a bit short of ready cash at the moment. Uh, Sorry about that, Father. <laughs> I just remembered I had a couple of spare notes in my overnight bag. Oh, oh fifty dollars? Are you sure? Well, I want change. <laughs> well, I only have a dollar twenty. That'll do. <laughs> Vicar. That's extremely generous of you, gentlemen. Well, I won't uh, delay you any longer. Um, thank goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Pacelli. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Father. Dollars eighty. Oh, God bless this house. <laughs> hey, where's the kid? He's in the bathroom. He's been gone a long time. Hey, kid. He's gone. Gone? The little window's open. Hey, who is it? The police. Hey, you see, Antonio. He's gone to the police. Hey, come in. Come in. Mr. Pacelli. He's Pacelli. It's about what happened this afternoon. I understand, so you've got to do your job, isn't it? In there, there! We'd like you to come down to the station, Mr. Pacelli. What? <laughs> Me? Yeah, that's right. We caught those two young villains who stole the car this afternoon, and we need you to make an identification. But what about my son, Antonio, huh? No, he doesn't have to come, just you. <laughs> hey, Dave! Where are you? Yeah, well... <coughs> Radio call. There's a bloke down the pub putting in air conditioning. What's that got to do with us? He's throwing bricks through the window. <laughs> See you in the morning. No, hey, please, no, 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 no. <laughs> So what's happened to Antonio, eh? Hey, hey, don't you just go. Come on, you little hey, bandle, get in here. Thought you'd get away with it, Let didn't you? Let me go. Let me go. What's the matter? This little kid of yours climbed out of your bathroom window over my fence and broke me friend your penny. She then did. Then he tried to get out of it with some cock and bull story about bank robbers and calling the cops. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you, Enzo. That's how kids start out on a life of crime. There you go. I'm sorry, Papa, I tried. Hey, I know you tried. Don't worry, Tony. What's it is? Uh, oh, son, come under the Sergeant. Hey, sir. Never mind, Father. We'll soon sort this out. What's the matter, Father? I've been accused of passing stolen money. You, you, uh, you, Father? Yes, I, I popped into the police station for a con contribution, and I asked for change for that fifty-dollar note. Yeah, you asked for change, and they stole the money. Hey, turn around like that. Hey, I do 
don't understand. Neither do I. These are the two blokes who robbed the bank this afternoon. I thought this one looked familiar when I was here earlier. I think you'll find it's all there. Oh, thanks, son. OK, let's go. Uh, thanks for having us. <laughs> I'll see you at the station in the morning. Yes, yeah, see. Oh, well, what about me? I think you'd better come along now. You're a receiver of stolen goods, Father. <laughs> Dear, what will the bishop say? Ciao. Hey, ciao, ciao. Oh, Madonna mia. <laughs> oh, what a day! Things are going to seem pretty dull from now on. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm going to go see Jill. I'll go and finish my boat. I'm going to go and see Brian. What are you going to do, Andrew? <laughs> I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> this afternoon at five o'clock, Tim Webster and Joe Pearson present the 1991 Young Achiever Awards a recognition of the work of all young Australians, but for six in particular, the accolades they so richly deserve. A salute to the future of our country today at 5 o'clock here on Channel 10. Coming up now, time to board the love boat.